Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarome. This is going to be a reading for my dearest Libras. Libra, this is going to be your January 2021 love and romance reading. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to read your energy on the left, your person's energy on the right, and then right down the middle we're going to see what's going on between you guys. I urge you to play with time. This could be a past connection, a current situation, or an energy that's moving towards you in January 2021. Also, uh, feel free at any point in time to swap the energies that I may be picking up on. Um, also, I'm going to ask that you guys um, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check out the description box for information on how to get a private reading or different ways that you can support this channel or see the decks that I'm using. I have them linked and listed down below. So Libras, let's go ahead and see what's going on between you and your person in January 2021. Messages for my Libras, please. January 2021, love and romance. Mm. Messages for Libras, please. Wow. Okay. Woof. All right. So we have the seven, we have the strength card and the seven of pentacles. So some of you guys, Libra, have been really holding back, or maybe you feel like your person has been holding back, um, you know, showing a lot of restraint here, a lot of resolve when it comes to this relationship. You could be dealing with a Leo or it could be an earth sign. But let's go ahead and see. All right, so we have the Ace of Swords in reverse, the Nine of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, Your person, the Four of Swords. Yeah, you guys might be on a little bit of a break or your person may be healing. Page of Wands, the Five of Cups. Libra, somebody has some regrets over what happened between you guys. All right, we've got the Queen of Wands. We've got the King of Cups. You could be dealing with a water sign and we've got the king of swords. Ooh, okay. So somebody here may be strategizing, trying to figure out how to move towards you. Okay, how to move forward with this connection. Um, I do apologize, guys, if you hear that background noise. The plumbing in this house is so loud. All right, so the overall energy here is the ace, sorry, the eight of swords. So Libra, this is your energy. You're feeling stuck you're feeling really confused. And that's clear because you're also coming out as the Ace of Swords. Something may have happened here really unexpected between you and this person or something that you felt like you didn't see coming um, is what I'm getting. And you've really been your, in your head about this. You've really been overthinking it. We have the Knight of Cups in reverse. Somebody here may have withdrawn their cup of love, whether it was an offer, whether it was a commitment, maybe you guys were talking, everything was going great. I do feel like as the holidays kind of approached Libra, maybe this person, you know, either ghosted you or kind of went silent, um, wasn't putting as much into this connection um, as they were before, or as you would like. And I feel like it left you really sort of hanging, really wondering what is going on here. Four of Wands. This is a contract. This is a marriage. This is, um, this is two people that, you know, I think you saw a lot of, you know, you saw potential future here. Some of you, you may even be in a, you may have been in a long-term relationship and you just don't know what this emotional distance is. Um, the Four of Wands is my 1111 card. So many of you guys see this person as your soulmate, Ace of Wands. And many of you guys are really hoping for this passionate new beginning. Yeah. And maybe it's your person's energy. They may have pulled back a little bit, Libra, just to get some clarity. Maybe, um, they had, you know, maybe they felt like they had other options. Maybe they just weren't sure about, you know, jumping into a commitment because I do feel like commitment is on the table here. So your person may have been running from that. Okay. But regardless, I feel like you've been left a little bit, you know, confused, a little bit anxious, um, wondering, you know, hey, what's going on? For many of you guys with this Ace of Swords energy, you are not in communication with this person. And again, you just don't know which direction you want to take, how you're feeling. And I feel like you are waiting on communication here. You see this person as your Nine of Cups, as your wish fulfillment. You know, I think they, 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 you thought everything was perfect. Everything was great. And I think you still do. You're just trying to get, you know, wrap your head around what's going on with this situation. You could be dealing with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces person. 
Now, you see the relationship is, I feel like Libra, some of you guys are thinking about, you know, do I need to let this go? Because I think this has created a lot of anxiety. Um, some of you are, you know, I feel like you're stepping into that Empress energy, which is Libra energy or Taurus, but it's that Venusian energy of loving yourself. Like, you know, do I let this go? This person has hurt me. Do I want to be with somebody who's inconsistent? But I, I am getting an energy of like, wait, because I do feel like this person is really strategizing. They're trying to figure out a way to come forward, explain to you what's going on and sort of get their feelings under wraps okay so your person I feel like is in the state of withdrawal again um, we have the four of swords and the five of swords there's some sort of conflict it could have been after an argument um, or maybe your person just started to feel overwhelmed because then the connection was a bit intense so I see your person really pulling back here they may be healing from something um, it could be an illness but I do feel like there is silence between you guys okay now, your person sees you as the Page of Wands. So the Page of Wands is beautiful energy. They see you as passionate. They see you as charismatic. I think they, they really appreciate the way that you dress. I mean, Libras in general, you guys have panache, you have flair. You just always seem to look really nice, have this sort of elegance about you. Um, you're very well sort of you know, well-versed in music and art. And I think they really, really appreciate that. They also feel a lot of passion. And I do feel like they're really trying to come, um, come up with a way what they're going to say to you, wanting to reach out to you with this page of wands. They're seeing this connection as the five of cups in reverse. So there's some remorse here. There's some regret over what happened. You know, the four of pentacles, Again, you know, I think that you really want to collaborate. You really want to work together with this person. Again, you guys might see each other at work. It could be a workplace romance, um, or it could be a connection where you see one another, you know, something having to do with finances at their place of business. Um, but they're really regretting, you know, any sort of conflict and maybe even their own actions here, Libra. Um, like they, they want to come out of the cold. They want to apologize. I think they know that you've been, you know, this has really sort of done your head in. Now we do have the queen of wands in reverse. For some of you, it could be that there was an extra energy that was getting in the way of your relationship. Um, and again, it could be represent this sort of remorse. It could be an ex or it could be, again, somebody that was kind of, you know, trying to sabotage this relationship, somebody that was really going after your person. Um, and, you know, I'm not really getting an energy of infidelity from your person, but I think that they, something happened here where they really sort of pulled back their energy, where they were channeling the energy into you and into this relationship. Again, Again, they may have felt like, okay, I need to really focus on my fan finances. I need to focus on my health. I do feel like your person was feeling a little bit overwhelmed, not about you and this connection, but about other things that were happening. For some of you, it could be somebody that was, you know, really trying to throw themselves in the middle of your guys' relationship. And I feel like your person, you know, had a moment of, all right, let me figure out what's going on here. Um, we have the King of Cups and the King of Swords. So I do feel as if your person may be a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces doesn't have to be. I feel like your person is very emotional and I feel like, you know, is also being very, very strategic. They're just coming into alignment, trying to suss out how they feel about this. Again, we have two kings. So there might be a third party situation involved with some of my Libras, but you guys will, you know, I think you guys will already sort of have a hunch about that, okay? Um, now, I do feel like they're being very strategic strategic here with the King of Swords. Um, there, I do feel like they're going to come in with some sort of communication that's going to either give you closure or make you very happy or sort of get you out of this feeling of, you know, out of, the, out of this energy of feeling quite stuck. Emotions do run high between you guys. I do feel as if there is love here. Okay, so let's go ahead and see. I mean, you see this person, you know, you, they're showing up as a water sign here. Okay. So for many of you, that's going to be confirmation, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So look at that. We get the 10 of swords in reverse, clarifying the ace of swords in reverse. I do feel like there was some sort of ending, or at least you, I, you might even not be sure if there's an ending. Um, you might be waiting on communication about closure. I think you're really trying to heal. Um, I do see Libras, you being quite anxious about what's going on in this connection or what to do, maybe even not really quite knowing what your person's feelings are because I see you, you know, you see this person as really holding back, okay, um, as not, you know, 
is not maybe divulging all the information that they should at this time. Okay, so again, remember in the pre-shuffle, there was that strength card and the seven of pentacles. I think you guys might both be holding back or you're showing a lot of restraint. I feel like you do want to reach out to this person, but you're not quite doing that. But you see them as your nine of cups, okay? Your wish fulfillment, your happiness, you know, they fill you with joy, all right? So let's go ahead and see why is this nine of cups here for Libra? Okay, and we have the Seven of Cups. Yeah, for many of you, either you see this person as, um, you know, you see this person as, you know, I think even your own emotions for this for this person are quite overwhelming. Um, again, you see them as probably a water sign or somebody that you see them as very dreamy. Um, you guys might also have telepathic, you know, connection where you're dreaming about them, they're dreaming about you. Um, but again, there's something here about having a lot of options. So either, you know, I think maybe you're worried that you know, you're trying to figure out if they have other options, you know, why are they pulling back or even vice versa? Um, because I think they see you as also sort of pulling back your energy, Libra. All right, so let's go ahead and see why is this four of pentacles in reverse here? Something you're trying to think about whether or not you should let go of this. You know, is this person a player? What's going on? You know, you know, do I want to be with somebody who makes me feel this sort of in and out energy? All right, and we get the hanged man. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with a Pisces, but Neptunian energy, again, you, you realize things are on hold. You realize things have come to a full stop. Now, Libra, it could be you. It could be that, you know, you have a lot of options, okay? And it could be that you pulled your energy back um, trying to make a decision you know is this the person that you want to be with um, you're, you're definitely trying to get a different perspective I think you're spending a lot of time you know in meditation and in prayer um, you know listening to readings that sort of thing um, and you know you're flooding that crown chakra trying to see and understand what's going on because I feel like you guys are not communicating all right and also with the ace of swords you know feeling like your hands are tied like you need an answer you need to have more information before you can move forward but she's blindfolded and her head is sort of you know her face is kind of faced upwards towards the sky trying to get you know really use your intuition trying to you know get a higher perspective on you know what it is you want okay what it is you're willing to put up with as well libra okay now let's go ahead and see why is this person showing up as the four of swords you could be dealing with another air sign as well ten of cups this is a deep soul connection for some of you this person may have been involved in another situation and you are already aware of that um, and this person is really going back and forth about whether or not you know they should leave their current partner for you libra okay remember the energies can be reversed and that's not going to be um that's not going to be for everyone i think your person um, is very happy, sees a future with you. I think they see you also as their wish fulfillment here, but they're really unhappy here about not being in contact. They're coming into this sort of realization, Libra, that, you know, they don't like it. They don't like being without you. That's why they're kind of thinking about, I feel like they're really strategizing about how they can either come in with an apology or how to approach you. Okay, because they can feel that you've definitely pulled back your energy, but I think they're also sort of picking up on their on this sort of anxiety, this nervousness, and again, they, they might be feeling that as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and see. They see you as the Page of Wands. There could be a little bit of an age difference here. Look at that clarified by the Prince of Wands. So there's a lot of passion in here. They do want to come rushing towards you. They may be hoping that you come rushing towards them, Libra, but I see you really holding your ground, being in that Empress energy, you know, not, and regardless of gender, like I'm not going to chase, I'm not going to push forward, even though, you know, they, they would kind of like you to do the work is what I'm getting here. But I do feel like they are going to come rushing towards you passionately. They may be coming in, you know, um, I, I feel like they needed some space. They needed to sort to figure out how they were feeling because again I feel like commitment you know your person might have sort of been in a player energy or they might have fears of commitment okay and so the feelings that they caught for you um, are definitely you know definitely affected them and maybe even scared them a little bit okay because again this eight of swords energy could be their energy too so uh, five of cups in reverse how they see the relationship um, again for the many of you they're realizing um, they're realizing that they had their two of cups with you, Libra, okay? And they're really regretting, you know, not recognizing that earlier. So let's go ahead and see. We've got the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, they want a new beginning. They want to come in and offer you something stable here. Okay, they're just trying to figure that out right now. So if you haven't heard from this person, you know, I do feel like you can expect a message. They are going to sort of come rushing in. 
um, or they're just, you know, they're, they're thinking about it right now. I also feel like they feel like you guys are a really good match. You know, the 10 of cups in reverse and the nine of cups, both of you see each other as your wish fulfillment. I think they're also really enjoying, you know, I think that if you're showing up as this king of swords energy is sort of this logical, sort of more balanced, authentic, generous, truthful, you know, a little bit more black and white. And they're that emotional, I think that emotional energy of the king of cups, they might be an artist or a visionary, or just sort of, a, you know, lead with the heart that you might lead a little bit more with your head, although it could be vice versa, that they really like that they're recognizing how important this balance is for them. Okay. And I feel like they're, again, they, they may be taking their time, just sort of trying to strategize, trying to figure out how to approach you. But I think they're also really feeling that you pulled back your energy Libra. All right. And so we've got the queen of wands in reverse with the uh, prince of pentacles. So, um, somebody here may have, somebody here is trying to fix a situation. Somebody here, this is, you know, this is the Knight of Pentacles. This is a slow moving energy. Um, somebody, you know, this person, again, this third party energy that I may be picking up on might not have been another person. It could be their health or it could be their finances. They could be realizing that they didn't have what you deserve to channel into this relationship. And I feel like Libra, they're trying to fix that. I feel like any separation or distance between you, they're trying to fix that. They're trying to come in with an offer. They're trying to come in with stability. They're trying to bring you what it is that you need. Okay. Because they're realizing, you know, like love isn't going to pay the bills, you know, or passion isn't going to be the only thing, you know, that takes this relationship the distance. And I think they're sort of coming to that realization, Libra, that that's what they want, that they want commitment. All right. So if there was some sort of pullback, that's what I'm getting. Uh, for some of you, there may have been a third party situation. I feel like that situation has been resolved or they've made a decision and their decision is they want to come in with an offer for you, Libra. All right. So again, remember you have free will. You do what you will with that information. All right. So why is this King of Cups here? There's a lot of love here. I do feel like somebody wants to, they do want to come in and make you an offering. Nine of Pentacles. I think they're seeing you, Libra. I think they're seeing you as, you know, as somebody who is, um, somebody who's very independent, very beautiful, somebody who's very successful. Again, that might've even scared them at first, but this is what they love about you. They love this Venus and Virgo energy. They love this sort of analytical energy about you. You're organized. Many of you, you know, you've got, you know, your car and your home set up, you've got your job, you know, and they're realizing, wow, you know, Libra is pretty amazing. And they really want to offer, you know, they really want to offer a commitment to you. I don't think they want you I think they're starting to also, what I'm seeing with this fire energy, there's a little bit of jealousy. They don't want you to be single. I think it even gives them a little bit of anxiety thinking that, you know, you could move on. Um, and they could be picking up on that energy because I feel like you're very seriously considering that Libra. So let's go ahead and see what's going on with this King of Swords energy, please. And we get the lovers in reverse. Yeah. So somebody here is, they're really, they're feeling you, Libra. And I think you feel this person as well. Again, you both feel as if you're, look at that, you're each other's nine of cups. I was just about to go back to that. Um, you guys are each other's wish fulfillment. And I feel like, you know, somebody here is really going into review, really strategizing how they can bring, you know, how you guys can come back together. Um, there was a choice here. For some of you, there was a third party situation. I'm not going to lie to you. I do keep seeing that. Um, I feel like if this person did leave you in the past for somebody else, they're regretting it. They're trying to figure out how they can, you know, mend or repair this situation. They're looking at you as this nine of pentacles energy. We have lots of nines showing up in this reading, you guys. So, um, you know, so that might be a numerological sequence for you to pay attention to the completion of a difficult cycle. Again, this could be somebody who's, you know, very far in the past, or it could be somebody recent or that you're currently dealing with. But I feel like this King of Swords, this could be your energy. You're taking, you know, you're, you're taking, you know, very sort of mental approach to the situation. So just be careful that you're not overthinking or you're not getting stuck, you know, in anxiety about this. Cause I do feel like this person, you guys see each other as each other's wish fulfillment. Okay. But again, whether or not, you know, when this person sort of comes in with communication, they want to come rushing towards you passionately in January is what I'm getting, but you do what you will. I feel like you might still hold back a little bit. And some of you might tell this person, you know, to walk. All right. So let's go ahead and see what else comes through for Libra. 
All right, we've got spiritual maturity. Yeah, so some of you guys, um, you might be feeling like, hey, this person really has changed. Um, whatever, however amount of length of time that you guys have been apart or you guys haven't been communicating, you might have seen an evolution. For many of you, you may be coming together because this person decides, you know what, I don't wanna do it without Libra. Libra is my happiness, okay? And vice versa, and that you guys make a commitment to be on this journey. And I see this being something very, very long term. Okay, so like kind of like a little bit of a bump in the road here, Libra. Um, for others of you, this is what you need to see. And for some of you, you may not see that with this person, okay? With this four of, you know, four of pentacles, some of you guys are gonna say you had your choice, you had your chance, you know, to collaborate with me. You know, there's something that you need to let go and I don't know if you've done that, all right? So two different stories coming through here. But Libra, this is what you're going to be attracting. You need somebody who's gonna come and match your energy. Somebody that wants to build with you. Somebody who's going to stand by your side. And I feel like there's a little bit of that anxiety here about you know, will this person, you know, no matter what they say, has this person really changed or will this person really be the person that's there with me through thick and thin maturity? Look at that. So again, there might be an age difference between you guys. I was kind of picking up on that earlier. Um, some of you might have a little bit more experience than the other when it comes to relationships. Um, and if that's the case, you know, spirit is asking you to be patient with this person. Um, but again, you're looking for level of maturity. Libra, I feel like you're looking for commitment. You're not looking for you know f boy or f girl energy um, you're not looking for somebody who's going to be in and out of your life and you might feel like this person has some player energy um, and so it's again it's going to be up to you trusting your intuition when this person comes back with this offer because I do feel like there are a lot of regrets and they want to come in and offer you stable commitment you know that you're really true to yourself here all right, we get yin and yang. Yeah, this is a very, this is a, you guys do complement each other. And I think this is how you were feeling um, before whatever separation or sort of pullback there was. But Spirit does want you to know that you guys are soulmates. You guys are very compatible. Um, yeah, beautiful energy. And we get worthiness here. But yeah, some of you guys are going to have, you know, have a little bit of difficulty being like, hey, if I, if I mean that much to you, then how could you do this to me? Or, you know, especially if there was a third party involved but I feel like many of you guys Libra you guys in this sort of down period even though you know you may be feeling a bit anxious you might be feeling a little bit stuck until you get communication from this person you're trying to figure out you know should I stay should I go you know do I just move on that this is the energy that you guys are stepping into and this is empress energy or at the very least it is pre-empress energy and look at that self-respect coming out right in the middle so some of you guys are going to tell this person to walk you're like soulmate or not I don't, you know, I don't need this energy. You're with me or you're not. Because I feel like Libra, your heart was my was made up about this person from the beginning. And you're like, you're really like, you know what, if you weren't sure about me, then, you know, then, you know, that's on you. But, and if, and if that's the case, there may be an ending here because we have the 10 of swords and we have the 10 of cups in reverse that some of you guys may be walking away and you may be walking towards what I'm seeing here is some sort of stability and calling in a soulmate. All right, so there are two different storylines. Some of you guys, there's, you know, you may decide you want to reconcile with this person. They're going to be coming in. Again, trust your intuition. You know, are they going to be offering you the stability that, you know, that you want, that you need? And for others of you, mm -mm, you're like, you know, you're getting closure and you're going to tell this person to walk. All right, and in doing so, that up-leveling, that self-respect, this empress energy, you're calling in your emperor or your divine, you know, you're calling in your yin to your yang somebody who's going to match you, somebody who's mature like you. Okay. So we get make the effort. Beautiful. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Yeah. And for some of you guys, it's guiding you to walk away from a karmic situation. For others of you, it's about really speaking your mind, having heart to heart conversations with this person. You know, is this somebody that you're going to take seriously? What they're offering you? Is it aligned with what you want? express your love. I do feel like your person, this person is going to come in with a romantic gesture. They're going to come in with a message, pay attention to the red flags, but those red flags Libra are going to be, you know, they're going to be kind of, you know, bothering you. And I think there may have been red flags in the past that you kind of ignored, but then whatever this is that sort of caused your separation, you know, it's really, you're, it's causing you to pause and be like, you know what? I'm putting myself first. I don't need somebody who's going to play games with me. I don't need an energy that's in and out of my life. You know, if this person 
is just here for passion or for sex or what have you, that's not what I'm looking for because you're looking for somebody who's as mature and gonna offer you commitment here. And we get finances and career. Some of you guys, this might be a workplace thing. Um, for others of you, again, this person sort of needed to take time away. Um, some of them may have been recovering from a divorce or some sort of financial loss here. And again, that may have been that sort of third party energy where they weren't able to really put in the effort into this relationship. But I do feel like they're gonna come back and tell you that that's what they want. Calling in your soulmate regardless Libra okay this could be the one all right you're coming into this you know there was a lesson here for you maybe some of my Libras out there you guys were over giving in this situation and there was a little bit of like a you know a little bit of a halt here because you it, you needed to step up into your own self-worth get into that empress energy not over give and it really is this person and this person is your soulmate for others of you you're going to cut this person loose again i feel like it might be a water sign here although it could really be any sign you're going to cut this person loose and in doing so and stepping into your self-worth libra boom that's when you call in your soulmate okay so two storylines going on here and again remember tarot isn't law these are the energies that are at play right Right now and you have free will okay so oof, let's see what we get here we get spiritual connection a relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime yeah for some of you guys especially with this yin yang energy and you guys both see each other as your nine of cups you might also not really understand why you're so drawn to this person um, again this person might not be your usual type but you felt or you feel this very, very strong connection, it's because there's a past life connection here for you. Okay, and then we get romance. Lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection. So you, I feel like you might have been overly affectionate, Libra. You might have given your everything to this relationship. And again, I feel like this person may have... Um, you know, may not have been matching you in that energy, but I do feel like they're coming back with some sort of romantic gesture. Um, they're coming in to make an effort. Okay, again, you do what you will with that information. And we say have patience. Love is patient and kind always. So I do feel like this person is strategizing how they can come towards you, Libra. Um, and again, the pre-shuffle doesn't lie. We had that strength card and the seven of pentacles. So even if you kind of feel like reaching out, I'm not saying... Okay, I'm not saying hold back if you feel really, really drawn, you know, to reach out to this person, but have patience. I think this person is going to really come forward and it's going to make a lot of you really happy. All right, so we have playfulness. So again, I feel like you've been in this sort of this state of tension, a little bit of anxiety about this, you know, spirits coming through and saying, you know what, just try to raise that vibration. Also, I feel like this person... You know, this person might not quite understand how much this has affected you. And I feel like if you guys do want to reconcile with this person, like it's important that you don't come at them like you, you know, like you that you listen to what they have to say. Um, they're going to come in. They're going to make some offers, obviously, like talk to them, you know, suss out the situation, but also try not to, you know, because I feel like they get a little bit um you know, I feel like they get a little bit nervous or anxious again. I feel like you might have a bit more experience than they do, Libra. Okay, so again, like not just make sure the energy isn't too heavy um, if you guys, if you want to reconcile with this person. Wow, we get passion. Yeah, this person, I mean, you absolutely turn this person on. We see that with the Page of Wands and the Prince of Wands. Some of you guys, again, I feel like have a little bit more experience than your person. That could be sexually, that could be in relationships, you could be a little bit older. And I think that's something that, you know, I feel like there's a lot of exploratory energy where you guys, you know, either you have already or you will be, you know, experiencing this. But a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. So really enjoy it. You might be getting a lot of attention from other people again there might be options around you and then we get it's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another now is the time to give to yourself and I think that's what you're doing Libra and I think you know for some of you this is your soulmate Okay. And there was, it was like a needed sort of pause or break. Okay. You may have triggered something in this person or vice versa, but it was really meant for many of you guys, you know, to sort of recalibrate your energy. You might've started to sort of get lost in this person. You might've started to sort of fall into a pattern where you were over giving. Okay. And again, I feel like this, your person might have some issues with commitment or again, they might not have as much experience. So I feel like somebody here got triggered and that's what's created a little bit of distance and separation for you, but it all has its purpose. Okay. So I hope you guys find clarity and guidance in these messages. I love you so much. Thank you for listening. Have a beautiful day. Take care.